Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Shanghai, China. How long have you been in the United States? Mm, I li living here uh, almost uh, six years ago. The, these martial arts uh, called the Xing Yi Liu He Chuan. He invented the ten animals uh, for uh, the like the jacking, snake, tiger, and the monkey, chicken, and swallow, something. Uh, all is a ten animal make the movement. Um, the, you know, different animal have a different skills. So, must uh, may, may um, mock the these uh, different animal skills make uh, make the. Movement. Uh, for example, the chicken. Chicken. Uh, we we can move the chicken step, make the leg strong, and then make the body balance. Uh, make the the snake is uh, no arm, no leg. Use the body. It may make your body soft. Make you flexible. Can you show us the chicken step? So, this this chicken step, like like this. And the, and the snake, snake, he, he walk like the ace, like this. So the the dragon, he exercised the waist, exercised the waist. So he make, make the body very soft. And uh, this this is Xing Yi Liu He Ming is the the in, internal harmless. The internal harmless is Xing Yi Yi He. Yi yu qi he, qi yu li he. The ming is the xing is like a thinking. The yi is like a feeling. The, the when you movement, you must the thinking and the feeling. something that one develops through hard work so it's sort of a uh, doesn't mean martial arts it means uh, uh, achieved level of excellence in something um, but anyways uh, Xing Yi Luha is uh, translates to be something equivalent to 
integrating the heart and mind through the six harmonies. Um, six harmonies are hands and feet, elbows and knees, hips and shoulders, heart and mind, mind and breath, breath and strength. Um, and it's just sort of a very interesting traditional form of physical culture having to do with emulating the movements of ten animal shapes. Um, within that, there's a whole series of yogic energetic developments and practices. So Shingi is a sister art to Tai Chi, also Bagua is another art, but Tai Chi is the symbol of yin and yang, the black and white fish together. This representation is a literal idea because when you're training Shingi, Tai Chi, Bagua, you're trying to develop the, the interplay between poles. So the harder you can make your body, the softer you can make your body. The two things exist relative to each other, they're contextual. Yeah, and this, this is the martial arts foundation. Yeah, so yeah. This is a little Ga, yeah. Gang and row? Yeah, gang and row. Yeah, uh, yes. and in Shingi we also say open and closed. In a sense you're trying to make your whole body like your hand, so you can close it very tightly, and then you can release it to be open and soft. Um, so someone is a you know, beginning practice the martial arts, must have a very hard, very calm, mm. and then little, little, he, um, Became the became came the soft. Yes. And then after soft, you you come come back to calm. You use the very best. Yes. 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 Like we like we <laughs> said. Uh, what did we say the other day? Uh, Chinese kung fu needs both hard and soft. If you do hard first, soft is easy. If you do soft first, hard is still hard. Yes. These are good. Uh, but yeah, so um, I think what's interesting about it personally, and I've been studying various arts for a number of years, uh, it's a truly integrated system of physical culture and movement. So within the umbrella of Chinese Guang Fu and within the umbrella of Xingyi Lu Chuan, there are many, many practices. So there's very gentle practices fo focusing on breath and meditation, and then there are very athletic practices that build a, a really unique level of integrated strength and balance and movement. and uh, so it's really a, a big buffet and there's tons of stuff to play with and uh, it's sort of a, a self-referencing loop in the, in the sense that the more you play, the more your level of refinement develops and so it's constantly, it's like music or art, you never get to the end of it. There's always another layer of subtlety that you can try and strive for and so it's really engaging beyond just being a workout. You know, people tend to think of exercise as something they do to themselves rather than something they do through themselves and having an art and a practice that gives you the firm ground of being multi-dimensional as opposed to just ticking off your exercise I think is a, is a really rewarding sustainable way of trying to develop the body.